as actors, how did it feel to sort of be playing cast and crew while being filmed by a <laughs> cast and crew? Well, you know, in a way, it was slightly confusing. There was, sort of, there was confusion, wasn't there, with yeah. names and things, between the name of the character and the name of the actor yeah. and things, because like, there was a lot of similarities. It's always confusion about sort of doing a film within a film, because you sort of like, you know, you, do you say cut and then you say real cut? Or, you, you know, do you... But actually, I think generally we managed to avoid most of those problems. Um, but yeah, it's always quite weird. It's always quite meta, isn't it? There's a film within a film within a film in this yeah, as well, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's like a Russian know, doll. Yeah. I mean, you got away quite lightly because your, your character's quite sympathetic, which, yeah. you know, you know ca camera people are, on the whole, quite decent, aren't they? Whereas producers, you know, I play a, a really unpleasant character, yeah. really, you know, a real yeah, self -serving. You, you want to get the job done and you don't care what gets in your way? I don't care. I mean, let's face it, there are a lot of actors in the world. What would it matter if you lost a few, you know, yeah, along the way? Not much. Really. So, so as an actor, is this, is this your kind of acting revenge on the producer trope? Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is my revenge. My revenge for all those slights <laughs> and disappointments that I've suffered over the years. Yeah. So I've got to shout at people, which is nice. You know, but I have to say, you know, our producers have been absolutely lovely. <laughs> they're ironic, nothing, like, they're nothing like the character they wrote, you know. What was it? What's a, what was it? I mean, there's a lot of practical effects in this. We've got a wolf running around in the dark. So, what do you remember being particularly sort of challenging days on set that spring to mind? I mean, like the, the one of the big reveals of the wolf for uh, my character and a couple of the other characters was then we had to like. Like sort of scream and sprint away in the in the cold dead of night, and I just remember it being very cold and very muddy, and um, you know. But it's it's all working on like low budget film is always challenging, and it's always like it's exciting as well. Um, and I think that was, I mean, the the, the wolf is uh, it's quite shocking when you see it for the first time. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but like exactly. you know, it's um, it's quite something. I had to climb up a scaffold, like a three story scaffold to go get on a roof at one point. And everyone was like really like, oh. And I think it's because they expect actors to kind of be a bit namby-pamby, yeah. maybe. Oh, I don't know about that. My, where's the safety harness? Is there a stunt man? I, I, I climbed up. Not you know, Steve Mapes, just get stuck I in. Climb up. They give me a hard hat, so just in case I fell on my head. Yeah. And uh, went up on the roof in the night. I had to carry these huge spotlights and shine it around, and that was, uh, that was tricky. Every time you nudge the little window things, the, the, the aperture changed, you know, and I was on my own on this roof. They were all having a laugh down there at the bottom of the ground, you know, enjoying themselves. You have to suffer for your art, as they say. Well, look, thank you very much for giving your time on, on Breakfast Day. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers.